Hi everyone and welcome back again to our next episode of the journey through apostolic succession. In Acts 6:6 6, 6, it says, "They had these men stand before the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them." We see that apostolic authority is transferred through the laying on of hands. This authority has transferred beyond the original 12 apostles as the church has grown. Today we hear about our 172nd pope in apostolic succession. Pope Urban III was the 172nd person to hold the position and was born in Milan with the name Alberto Crivelli and was part of a relatively noble family in the region. After decades of loyally serving the church, he was made a cardinal in 1182. This was done by Pope Lucius III. Just a few years later in 1185, he became Archbishop of Milan. The same year Pope Lucius III died, Archbishop Alberto Crivelli was elected the new pope the same day that his predecessor died and adopted the name Urban III. Pope Urban III was elected on November 25, 1185. His papacy ended upon his death on October 20th, 1187. He was succeeded by Pope Gregory VIII. Pope Urban's brief pontificate was much taken up with quarrels with the Emperor Frederick and his son Prince Henry. He refused to comply with the Emperor's wish that his son Henry be crowned co-emperor. Urban suspended Archbishop of Aquileia who crowned Henry king of Italy and supported Henry's marriage. Pope Urban resented the marriage as an attempt to protect the papacy. Pope and emperor also clashed over clerical appointments. In April of 1187, Frederick convoked the Diet of Gelhausen in which it supported the imperial choices. Pope Urban opposed to the synod and planned to excommunicate Frederick but died before he had done the deed. Pope Urban III died October 28th, 1187. He is buried in Ferrara Cathedral. Thank you to each one of you for listening and supporting. As always, please stay tuned for our next episode. Please like, share and spread the word to everyone around you. For Christ and for the church. God bless you all. Thank you.